Hey guys, good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to vlog today because I've got stuff so I gotta go do. Sorry, I've got an itch. Um, it's... Hi, Banjo. He's demanding more food. Banjo, where'd you go? Right there, there's Banjo. Ran all over. They had soft cat food today because we ran out of regular cat food, which I'm sure just broke their hearts. <laughs> but, uh... Today's payday, so gotta go get cat food and dog food, um, some other stuff, and like I said, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning pretty much, and I'm just now getting up and getting going. Um, Molly's deflating in her crate. I haven't let her out yet. I'm gonna go upload a video to YouTube for today before, can you see her? Or not? Molly, 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 Molly. This room's a disaster, don't look. <laughs> Everything else in the house is getting really clean. Like the main floor living area is getting really well put together. But uh, mm, the spare rooms, though, in the basement, they're disasters. But uh, yeah, what was I saying? Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm just now getting up and getting going because. And I guess I don't really have to justify getting up at 10 in the morning because I have had my wisdom teeth taken out a couple days ago. And the doctor was like, yeah, you just need to relax, like, for this whole week. Don't do anything. Um, but I've been feeling pretty good energy-wise. Like, my mouth hurts. But otherwise, I've been up, like, doing stuff and just going and, yeah. So, but I don't seem to get up until about 10 o'clock anymore because um, I've been taking those hydros, which are the painkillers they gave me, um, in the evening time before I go to bed. And so I take one before bed at like 9 or so at night. And then somewhere around... <laughs> She's so funny. Somewhere between 4 and 6 in the morning I wake up and I'm hurting. And I think it's just because... Like I hurt more in the mornings. But I think it's because I, I sleep on my face and I roll. So I wake up and I take another hydro. Um, and then I don't get up until that wears off. Because like they knock me out and I'm, I'm out. Um, but then like when they start to wear off I'm like I'm up. <laughs> it's kind of weird how that works. So... Um, yeah, that's just what we're going to be doing today. I'm um, going to upload a video now for YouTube, um, take Molly out and get her fed, and then do my makeup and do a urinal haul, um, and then we'll head to the store. Is that a good breakfast, Banjo? Didn't hurt your feelings none? Hmm? You happy boy? Is that good? <laughs> Molly's still deflating. Oliver, you doing pretty boy? Oliver. Look at you, Mr. Fuzzy Pants. Look at you, Mr. Fuzzy Pants. You still have your fur on. I haven't shaved you. Banjo's happy. He got wet food. He makes her a happy cat. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> this hoodie is so cute, but it has such a massive hood on it. Like puppy disabled <laughs> I need to like put a button or something and like hook it back here but otherwise it's really cute Just look at that it's like long sleeve for a dog <laughs> go on let's go potty you sleepy you want out that crate so bad now you're out and you're just sitting here not doing anything you gonna go potty no I already peed let's go inside and eat so while Molly's working on doing her thing, I figured I'd come on here um, and tell you that I've officially made 10 cents off of doing YouTube. <laughs> I know this seems to be a really big question for a lot of people of how much do YouTubers make, um, when do you start getting paid, all that other stuff. Um, I've been on YouTube for a little over a year now, probably about a year and two months. I have 41 subscribers and I just made 10 cents. So. YouTube's definitely meant to be a hobby, not your job. Like, I know some people can do it as their job, but it's not going to, like, happen as soon as you sign up for YouTube. You're not going to suddenly start making enough money to live off of. Um, so, it should definitely just be a hobby, at least for starters. And then if it turns into a job, fantastic. But like I said, I've been doing this for, like, a year and two months now. And I just made 10 cents. And I only have 41 subscribers. So, um, and... Uh, I think it has more to do with your views than the amount of subscribers you have because I've got a couple thousand views um, 
and only one only 41 subscribers so <laughs> um i think yeah it has more to do with your views and your subscribers which i've heard that before um but i figured i'd just go ahead and throw that in here because i was kind of excited to see it yesterday i mean i i'm doing youtube as a hobby i enjoy filming filming my life i figure someday maybe my kids will want to see it or something i don't know or something i can look back on later on in my life but it was still kind of exciting to see that I have made 10 cents. <laughs> so, um, there's that if anybody's curious. <laughs> hey Molly, are you done? I'm going inside. Go inside and eat. You ready to go get breakfast? You hungry? You go eat? You go get breakfast? You go get breakfast? Is it a yes? Is it a yes? Well, come on, let's go. Go inside. Let's go inside. Come on. The inside's not around the tree. Come on. Let's go inside. No one of our lamp things broke. Not sure how that keeps happening. Right there. And like all the glass shattered back there. And you come out here and clean all that up. Got on Mike's sandals because I can't be bothered to go find mine. Does anybody else take like the leftovers of candles and like break them out and use them as wax melts? This is the first one I've done that with, but I just love the smell of this candle so much, like, I didn't want to throw it out and there's enough left out in there, so. I don't know. Might be a new way to get wax melts. Miss Molly, you want to go outside? Say, heck yes, I do. Heck yes, I want to go outside. I also smell wet cat food and I totally want some. Good morning, puppy. Come on, let's go outside. Hey guys, so I just finished doing my yurtle haul and I did my makeup looks pretty good <laughs> um but i'm so excited because my uh, mark jacob candles came in the mail today i got these on yurtle um and they smell like the daisy perfume which i can't afford but i love the way it smells so i'm gonna light those and then i need to film a little bit of molly um she got a whole bunch of dog clothes from yurtle today and i'm gonna insert all that in my yurtle haul so i need to go film that so while I was filming my yurtle haul, Molly chewed up my flip flops and I have no idea where my black ones are at. So I guess I'll be stopping by Old Navy and hopefully they still have flip flops and I am for sure wearing Mike's flip flops for today now because I don't know where my black ones are at. So oh, I have to head on down to the basement and get a purse because... I haven't used a purse in like forever, but I feel like using one today and I want one of my big totes, so I'm going to come on down to the creepy basement and get it off the line. My basement's so creepy. This is like the one place that I haven't done anything with. Look at that, right? Like that's crawl space and it just looks like some dead creepy thing is going to crawl out and try to eat you when you walk past it. And then we got all this up here. Oh, grandma, you and your cool whip tubs stored everything in those. So much crap down here. Like, this is where everything's just been getting thrown that we don't need. Tablecloth. <laughs> we took that with us camping, but it needed washed, so it's up here to dry. And look at that. Like, is that not creepy back there, too? Like that big, ugly hole back there that goes way back, cross space type stuff. So creepy. So, we'll just grab up this black one here, and we'll be good. Look at that handsome man. Banjo. Look at that handsome man. Big and fluffy. And he knows it. <laughs> Look at him posing. <laughs> Molly's whooping out because she's in her crate by Mary Leave, so she had to get crated. Just look at him making all them poses. Big sexy kitty. <laughs> He's goofy. I'm pretty excited because we've gotten the car, car, the garage cleaned out enough to put my car in here. Still trying to sell this table back here. I'm surprised somebody hasn't come and bought it. Got it all over those Facebook garage sale groups, but it's a pretty nice table. I mean, the chairs could use to be reupholstered, but I'm only listing it for like 20 bucks because nobody seems to want to buy it. But we need to get rid of that. That's Mike's office chair. And then we've got all this trash over here that isn't going to fit in our dumpster, so it's like a little bit of week we throw out for our, our house dumpster. Sorry, I had something in my shoe. And then we need to get rid of that headboard, um, which I haven't really listed online yet, but we got all this trash and stuff and then when you get rid of that cabinet so it's just gonna take a minute because i'm asking 50 on it but it's a nice cabinet 
I'm hoping my wallet is in here. Look at this guy. He's on a moped and he's riding it like a freaking crotch rocket. Like every time we get up to like a stop sign or something, he sets up. Then as soon as we go, he like leans forward like it's a crotch rocket. So funny. I just had to share that. It is like the third car I've seen where somebody like uses a bungee cord. Like the same color as their car on the back of their trunk. <laughs> using this kind of, I don't know. It's interesting. I did that with duct tape one time. I got blue duct tape when my, my window broke. Okay, so we finished up at the post office. I got a package dropped off for Poshmark. Um, if you hear all that wrestling, there's a guy back here. It's like trying to strap down dog food to his motorcycle. I'm not really sure how that works. That's going to work. It's like a really big bag of dog food. Um, speaking of dog food, we are now at Petco because we have to go get Molly some food. And then Mom and I are going to go see Grandma. So, yeah, let's go in and see some critters and stuff. Isn't that cute? Get that and draw some Molly up like a wiki. <laughs> so let's see if they had in those dog, like, in, like, uh, life vests. But I'm not seeing any. They're supposed to be back here. Oh, I guess they're right there, aren't they? Derp. That's how much they are. Yes, they're going to see. Three bucks. I'm not spending that today. Poor car, guys. It looks like it's gonna be freaking kicked it. Like, I can't even open my door anymore. So, and excuse all the crap in my car. We haven't unpacked my car from the way. Um, I got Molly her food. This is the under the sun. It's like super healthy and stuff like that. And it's like $10 for this bag, which lasts her like a month. Um, and I got her some dog treats, but she loves these things. These are from, these are sweet potatoes. And then I also got her a greenie, which this thing will take her forever to work on. But I thought it was cute. And it was on sale for 79 cents. So. Yeah. I don't know what's up with people today. People are like acting crazy. But I guess people act crazy every day, don't they? But other drivers are just like getting on my nerves. And I'm in like a I hate everybody mood. Like, go away. Stay away from me. But I think it's just because my mouth is hurting. Like, it really hurts. This is probably the most I've talked because I've been vlogging all day since I had my surgery. Um, and I'm hurting a lot right through here. So, like, other people are just, like, irritating me. And I'm like, <laughs> go away. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, I'm going to head on over to my mom's. And we're going to go see Grandma. And then, uh, I don't know where we're going to go from here. There's people walking by staring at me creepishly. Go away, people. Stop staring. yeah i'll see you guys later hey guys so i finished all my running around today and everything like that i um, spent a, quite a bit of time with my grandmother which was nice we went down and seen a movie they're having there at the nursing home and she was very excited to get popcorn <laughs> but uh i think my pain meds are wearing off i'm really starting to get sore right through here it's really starting to hurt so i'm just gonna wrap this all up with everything i bought today um i didn't get to go to Maya, which i wanted to do but that's okay we're getting in a fight over food Okay, so at Big Lots, I got some more soup. Um, this is from Bear Creek um, Country Ch Country Kitchen, and I got their 
cheddar broccoli, um, some creamy cheddar. Because I'm finding I'm okay with doing pasta as long as I do it in like little bites and just swallow it whole. I'm doing okay with that. Um, I got their alfredo. Creamy chicken. More chicken broccoli. And four cans of SpaghettiOs with meatballs. Because <laughs> I'm still five at heart and I love SpaghettiOs. Um, I also got Mike some potato chips. Um, these are only a dollar a piece and they're really good, which potato chips are just insanely expensive anymore. We just don't buy them. There's no sense in wasting three dollars in chips. But uh, these are only a buck a piece at Big Lots. So these ones are the sour cream and onion. Then we got the cheddar and sour cream. And the brand is from Wise. W-I-S-E. Um, and then we also got the honey barbecue. These are all really good. We've had these before. Um, and my mom did something really sweet for me. And she bought me a wreath to hang on my door. And it's really pretty. I mean, I guess you'd call it a wreath. I'm not really sure. A door hanger. Door decoration. Not exactly a wreath. But it just has the little S there. I think it's really pretty. It's great for fall, but it'd also be great for summer because it's got all the gold sparkles like suns. So that's what it makes me think of it's like the sun. <laughs> um, and she also got the uh, the hook to go over the door, which I love that symbol. It's a symbol for strength. So that's awesome. Um, we already went over everything I got from Molly for food and such. And then at the Dollar Tree... I got four more of these glass mugs. These things are freaking awesome, and I can't believe they're from the Dollar Tree. I mean, they're huge for starters, but they're such a thick, heavy glass. My dog just belched. Did you hear that? She belched. But this is such a thick, heavy glass. I mean, these are heavy duty, and they're from the Dollar Tree, so they're they're awesome quality, which I found surprising. Um, Sorry, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> like, my neck and my shoulders are so sore from my jaw hurting. It's like a whole continual, like, jaw, neck, shoulder, just sore. I don't get it. But, uh, we also got some bagels from the Dollar Tree. Um, these ones are from Cobblestone. They're really good. And Mike's been making me sandwiches on them for his lunches. Um, and then I got some Jumex. I love this stuff for doing fruit smoothies, and Mike likes to just drink it. We got the peach nectar and the mango nectar which are both really good they also have a guava but we've never tried that um at walmart i picked up cat food and then i also picked up three of these chain locks i know it's funny but they make me feel safer so i got one for the front door one for the back door and one for the basement door um and i know they really don't offer that much protection but they just make me feel safer and i've bought them for every place we've lived and we've installed them um, and then I also got some hooks to hang up my frying pans in the kitchen. Um, all of my cast iron I just want to hang up in the kitchen. I think it'll look really nice. Ooh. I also picked up some country fried steaks from the Dollar Tree. These are surprisingly really good. I obviously can't eat them right now, but they're really good. So um, that's what the what it actually looks like. We just bake them in the oven and then do gravy and mashed potatoes with them. And then I also picked up some sweet potato fries from the Dollar Tree. And I got Mike, some microwavable Tony's French bread pizzas. He'll like those for work. I got him two of those. Um, I think that's everything from the Dollar Tree. Everything from Walmart. I also got myself a Pepsi, but I'm a little scared to drink it. I think, like, the fizziness is going to hurt back here, so I don't know. If I'm going to tempt that or I'm just going to leave it for Mike. But I think that'll wrap up today's vlog. Um... Thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hi to all my new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.